Please adhere to YouTube's selected guidelines before viewing the content of this video. Do not, I do not encourage or condone any products, actions, or behaviors shown in this video. All videos are produced in a safe, professional, and controlled environment. Please do not attempt to replicate any actions performed during the video. All actions are performed by professionals. Today, I'm going to be trying the cheapest cartridge that I could possibly find. I searched days on end on Weed Maps, and I searched at several different dispensaries, delivery services, and I finally came to conclusion that this right here is the cheapest one in my state. And no, this is not a fake cartridge that I got from a freaking local plug this is actually in legal licensed dispensaries and the crazy thing about this is that it's not even a half G it's a full G all right so that's what makes it even crazier now you guys already know when it comes down to YouTube they don't allow me to tell the prices on most of the products that I feature on this channel but if I had to put it into perspective let's say that I had 17 loaves of bread and each loaf was worth a buck all right I just spent 17 whole bread loaves on this cartridge right here. So I'm gonna be trying this out and I want to see how does it compare to other cartridges that I've tried. Is it gonna be any good? Is it gonna be just complete dog shit? I'm gonna be finding it out today in this video. Before we get into it, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and if you're a long-term viewer, don't forget to turn on the notification bells. I'll leave a comment down below and let's get back to the video. So this cartridge right here, I believe it's called a Fun Uncle Cruiser. I don't know if this cartridge is available anywhere outside of California but yeah man it was crazy to see how cheap I ended up getting this cart. Now the flavor of it is going to be a berry gelato and on the front right here it has some pretty basic mylar packaging nothing too crazy it just says interstate fu which I assume stands for fun uncle take the high road and yeah there's really nothing much to it in the back it just says that it contains uh, dissolute and terps and then it has a little quote that says as uncle Uncle Jack used to say, I don't know who the hell Uncle Jack is, but he said, there's nothing like rambling roads to destination nowhere, which in my opinion, uh, just sounds like a really weird saying. I don't really understand what it means, but these cruisers will get you there and then some. So hit the high road, Jack, inhale to enjoy. I mean, I don't know, I don't really know. Like that little quote right there kind of threw me off. I don't know what they're trying to say. That's a pretty weird saying right there, but nonetheless, I'm gonna go ahead and just crack this sucker open and get into it. Now, personally, like in the, I don't really know what to think before I get into it because in the past I have had like some really cheap cartridges that taste pretty freaking decent. Like I believe like Himalaya Farms and even Big Chiefs, those are some of the cartridges that are a little bit on the cheaper side, but they still kind of smack. But this right here is the cheapest cartridge that I've ever seen. Literally since I've been in this market for a damn near since 2015, I don't think that I've ever seen a cheaper full one gram cart. So yeah, man, I don't really know what to expect, but first to look, it it just kind of looks like a regular distillate cartridge nothing too crazy it doesn't look super super clear but it does seem to be distilled perfectly I don't really see too much fog in there the oil right there is extremely extremely thick and just for the purpose of the YouTube bots this right here is just a normal vape pen all right and this bad boy is some e-juice all right so I got my Toki 510 thread wireless battery that you guys already know is my favorite battery of all time I'm not really gonna talk too much about it in this video because I feel like I always do but I'm gonna go ahead and just slap the battery on this and get to it before I take this first ripperino let me know down in the comments what do you guys think this is gonna taste like you guys think it's gonna be horrible or do you think it's gonna be pretty decent yeah if I had to give my opinion right now before I take my first hit I don't know man by the looks of it and I feel like I can usually tell I feel like it's not gonna be super potent it's gonna have a very bland taste um, but who knows, man? Maybe I may be mistaken, right? So let's go ahead and find out. Oh, yeah. I mean, ooh. That's definitely giving me, like, like throwback. Maybe 2017, 2018 dissolute vibes where the terpenes were just, like, the, obviously not the best. Definitely tastes very, very artificial. You get some of that kind of like berry-ish taste to it, but it's not a true like terpene that you would get out of a normal strain. This is some kind of just additive that they use to make it taste better. But off of the first rip, I'm not really too mad at it because it is on the smoother side, but it's just the taste that kind of threw me off and it kind of like threw me back to like 2017 and 18 when the cartridges weren't so good. 
good and they kind of just had like different types of turf fillers just to make the cartridge taste good. All right, and after taking a little bit of a longer hit, I do get a little bit of like an irritation on the back of my throat that is kind of making me want to cough. I'm not getting too much of like a lung expansion. Usually with really, really good carts, I'll get like a lung expansion. I'll get this like warm feeling in my chest and that's kind of how like I indicate that it's some good stuff. But this one right here, I'm not really getting that. It's just a little bit of irritation in the throat, kind of just drying it out. But yeah, it doesn't taste bad at all. Like I've definitely had worse carts that I've paid more for. And this one is a little bit smoother than those. It tastes a little bit better and it's not the worst tasting cartridge but is this something that I would be able to chief on a regular basis I mean off of two rips in um, I mean now that I have choices and I'm able to choose different types of things definitely not but let's say if I was on a budget and I only really had under 20 bucks to spend then maybe yeah maybe I would be chief in this because it does have a little bit of a a little bit of a, a nice taste to it a little bit of a nice desolate taste to it nothing too nasty it's not giving me a nasty taste that makes me want to throw up it's pretty tolerable and off of just two quick little rips right there I am starting to feel like a little nonchalant a little bit of a cotton mouth type vibe my head is starting to definitely get a little bit like slumped and I'm guessing obviously I'm assuming that it's a car because I am I'm completely sober before starting my videos and yeah definitely I feel it starting to kick in now I'm kind of being surprised because like I said in the beginning I just didn't know what to expect I thought this was gonna be horrible I didn't think this was gonna be even chiefable but like two hits in it's definitely doing some some work it's definitely pretty smooth and now that I'm starting to break into it I definitely feel like I'm starting to get a little bit more of a bland taste to it. In the beginning, I tasted a lot of the terpenes, but now it's just starting to taste maybe like a little bit, just like just straight up distillate with a slight hint of berry terps. And it's, it's smoother. It's, it's starting to get a little bit smoother, but definitely, I, I just don't like the taste too much. I definitely don't like that taste. That kind of throws me back to 2017, 2018. I feel like nowadays there's a lot more stuff that you can do to carts to make them taste like the actual strain instead of adding these nasty little turp fillers. And like I said, it's not bad. It's not bad, but it's just not for me, all right? And so far, I'm like I said, I'm actually astonished, dude. The Fun Uncle cartridge is not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Like if you, if you you're going into the club and you're looking at this and it's the cheapest cartridge there and not only is it the cheapest cartridge at that dispensary but damn near in all of Southern California bro I looked all over my freaking area and this was the cheapest one that I could find which is crazy man because like even though it's the cheapest one it's it's still pretty much smacking bro like, like I said it's throwing me back to 2017 2018 where the distillate was just like not the best but it still got you smacked and now I'm not talking about just like oh completely blitz but it is kind of like starting to creep in a little bit I definitely feel like if I hit this a couple more times I would definitely reach the goal that I usually like to get to one thing that I do have to mention though is that it does leave like a like a nasty film on your like teeth and a little bit on your tongue a little bit of a distillate aftertaste and that's something that I don't really get with other like distillate pods like such as Stizzy or Plug Play it's kind of clean all the way through none of it just sticks to your mouth and doesn't linger this one right here kind of it is it is actually like causing like a little bit of a film which is kind of um, not too off-putting but yeah man um, aside from that though you know nonetheless it's a pretty it's a pretty decent cart for being the cheapest one ever it's pretty freaking decent now if I would have to give it its final rating right here right now let's go ahead and just give off the key points of what I like about it so the smoothness is pretty much there I feel like I get a good vapor production the, the you know the effects are starting to creep in little by little and you know the taste is kind of like mid-tier it's not the worst but it's definitely not the best and um, I've had better but it, this is definitely not bad in any way whatsoever so if I had to give it my final rating I definitely think that I would give this bad boy maybe like a 6.2 I, I would definitely give this a 6.2 out of 10 
Um, it's definitely, it could be better, it could be better, but a 6.2 for what it is, the cheapest cartridge ever, which is meant for, I mean, budget people, I'm assuming, because literally, as soon as I got to the club, some guy was already asking if he can have the Fun Uncle cartridge, and it was like an older folk, and all he wanted was just to, you know, get something quick, not spend too much money on it, and get the hell out of there. So those are the type of people that Fun Uncle are catering for, all right? But yeah, man, I'm not even mad about it, you know, I'm definitely... Definitely, dude, this is definitely better than that Rove cartridge that I made a video on last week. Better than that. I'm not even capping. And that is literally two to three times more expensive than this one right here, right, guys? So with all that being said, I'm out for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a fat like for the algorithm. Leave a comment down below what was your favorite part of the video. And most importantly, subscribe to the channel. We'll catch you guys on tomorrow's.